If you're in the market for a tinted affordable lip balm, I got you covered. This video is gonna be pretty much a pros and cons list. I'm gonna give you a short speed reviews of all of the tinted lip balms that I have tried from the drugstore or at an affordable price point. Personally, I don't like spending $20, $30 on a lip product if I can find something that's really, really good or even better at the drugstore. So if you're in the same boat as me, definitely keep on watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you like beauty, if you like makeup, up. I do a ton of that here on my channel, so I would love to have you back. I love being friends with each and every one of you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell so you can be notified of all of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get to talking about all of these tinted lip balms. I'm wearing the About Face lip liner today in the shade... What shade is this? I don't know, I'll put it down below, but the color that you're seeing on the lips is mostly that lip pencil because I did fill in my lips. But the little glossiness you see layered over top is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Complex Lip Balm. Pacifica is sold at Ulta and Target. You can also buy Pacifica, of course, on their website. And Pacifica is one of the more clean, whatever clean means to you. They try to include better ingredients for you and they are cruelty free. This lip balm comes in the little squeezy tube, which is super easy to just throw in your bag, pull out, apply without a mirror. The only thing I will say is that the opening is a bit large, so it does squeeze out a lot of lip balm, so you have to be careful. That's the only downside to the packaging. I really do like the pink in the little squeezy tube. I feel like it's very trendy. The formula of this lip balm is a little bit on the thicker side, but it's not goopy or sticky at all. It's very moisturizing on the lips. It really envelops the lips in a thick, moisturizing layer. It does have a subtle lavender-y tint, but on the lips, you don't really see it that much. It pulls a little bit more pink. It's just very subtle. It just adds a little bit of life and vibrancy back to your lips, but it's not going to give you an opaque color. I love how nourishing this one is. I love the subtle tint that it gives, and I love the easy to carry, easy to take with you packaging. So this one's a really great option. If you like more clean ingredients, if you want a really good bang for your buck because you do get a lot of product, if you want something that's super more moisturizing, definitely check out the Pacifica Complex Lip Balm. Another one that is available at Target, the Jason Wu Soft Balm Lip Balm. So this one does come in a squeezy tube, but just like the Pacifica, you get the little traditional slanted hole applicator. However, this texture is completely different than the Pacifica. This one is way more liquidy. It almost feels like a lip oil. So if you like something super, super, super lightweight, very oily feeling, very moisturizing feeling on the lips. You will love this. Feels very glidey, very slippy. It doesn't wear the longest because of that more oily texture, but it's very, very nourishing and I love how non-sticky. This is probably the least sticky out of all of the lip balms I'm going to talk about. This one comes in two different shades. I have the more peachy shade, but it's so sheer that I don't really think the shade is going to make that much of a difference. They're going to look pretty much the same on the lips. At least in my opinion, I don't notice a big tint. This one, again, is super easy to throw in your bag. You can apply it without a mirror because it's pretty much essentially clear and it just is very, very nourishing. You can also layer it on top of lip liners or other lip products to give you a little bit of shine and glossiness while also adding hydration to your lips. So if you want something super hassle-free, very lip oil-esque and doesn't have a lot of pigment, check out the Jason Wu Soft Balm Lip Balm. It's a really great find from Target. I have two more little tubey style lip lip balms that I wanted to mention. I don't have them with me, but I have tried them both extensively, so I'm gonna give you some information on both of them. The first is the Physicians Formula Butter Melt Tinted Lip Conditioner. I think it's in one of my bags or a pocket somewhere because I just wear it out and about all the time. This one looks like it's gonna be a squeezy tube, but it's actually hard, so you can't really press it, which is interesting, and it comes with a doe foot applicator. The packaging is not my favorite. The doe foot I find to be very, very flimsy and it's kind of short so it's just a little bit awkward to apply in my opinion and I'm not a huge fan of the fact that it looks kind of like crumpled. I think it's supposed to look like you can squeeze it but you actually can't so it's just kind of confusing. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging but it is different so I give them points for originality. This one comes in a couple different shades. I personally have the shade Pink Paradise. It's a nice neutral 
mid-tone pink, I would say. This one is pretty pigmented, so you can apply this for a pretty opaque color on the lips. It's not sticky, but you can feel it on the lips. You can feel it moisturizing and enveloping the lips, and it does give you a lot of shine. So this one, if you like a more pigmented, traditional lip gloss style formula, I think you would really enjoy this. It smells amazing like most traditional Physicians Formula products do, and it kind of smooths out all your lip lines without that burny, stingy feeling that more plumping, smoothing lip products can give. So that's a really great one to check out if you're at Target or wherever Physicians Formula is sold. And the other little tubey lip balm that I wanted to mention is from Catrice, and these are the Lip Jam lip glosses they market it as, but it does come in a little squeezy tube, and it is pretty hydrating on the lips, so I'm including it in this video. This one comes in a variety of fruity flavors slash colors, although the tint is pretty sheer, so the color or flavor that you get is not going to make a really, really big difference on your lips. Personally, I purchased the strawberry one because I love the smell of strawberries. I love strawberries, as you can see. I'm a big strawberry fan, and I love the subtle, like, reddish pink tint that that one gave to my lips. It gave enough pigment for just, like, swiping it on with no makeup, but it was not too much to where it looked, like, weird if you had it on with nothing else on your face. You know what I mean? Some of these other ones, like the Physician's Formula, it's pretty pigmented to where if you apply too much, it can look a little bit like you're wearing a lip product, whereas the Catrice, it's not super, super noticeable, but it does add a lot of glossiness and hydration. So I really love that one. I love the way it smells, and I super, super, super appreciate the affordable price tag. So if you're on Amazon or just shopping from Catrice, definitely check out their lip balms. I feel like they're pretty underrated. Shifting gears, let's talk about some of these more tube style tinted lip balms. One of the longest that I've had in my collection is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Balm. Personally, I love the shade Bliss You Berry. This is very, 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 very similar to Clinique's Black Honey. If you're a fan of that sort of deep, berry, vampy, just bitten look on the lips, you will love this because the formula is very similar to Clinique as well to where it's glossy, but not super, super glossy. It just adds a little bit of tint, but it's not so opaque that you necessarily need a mirror or a lip liner. You can apply it without worrying that it's gonna like bleed everywhere. I just love the unique color that this lip balm gives. A lot of lip balms lean more pink, more peachy, and I like that this one gives you a really cool like deep vampy option. It's really nourishing on the lips. It has more of that traditional chapstick-like texture, but it wears a really long time and it doesn't dry out your lips. So really, really love this one from CoverGirl. Another great option that is very similar to the CoverGirl in its more chapstick-like consistency, the J-Cat Dew Glow Lip Hydrator. This is a little twist-up applicator, and the packaging is really cute. I love the little, like, baby millennial pink. It's really lightweight, so you can just toss it in your bag, toss it in your purse, not gonna take up a lot of space. And this one is a little bit glossy, just like the CoverGirl, but not overly glossy. It's a sheer wash of color, but it's still enough to make an impact. You can wear it alone. You can wear with a lip liner. It has a little bit of grip to it, so it is gonna wear a long time, but it's not sticky at all. It's not ultra, ultra shiny, but I would say the CoverGirl and the J-Cat are very similar in their texture of being more like a traditional chapstick, but give you still some color and wear a decent amount of time, and also, of course, give you that hydration. So J-Cat, really, really great. I just, I think they're really good. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> Okay, another little twist-up chapstick-like product, although Pixie markets this as lip makeup. This is their Hydra Treat Lip Makeup. Can I just say, I love Pixie packaging. This lime green just does something to me. It just makes me happy right away, right away. So I love the packaging. It comes in a couple different shades. Most of them are pretty vibrant. I personally have the shade Poppy, which is definitely a super poppy, bright, corally color. And I will say, when I first tried this on, I was surprised by just how much pigment this gives. This is definitely the most pigmented out of all of the balms that I'm going to mention. It is most like a traditional lipstick in the amount of pigment that you are getting. What makes it unique is that it does dry down to more of that semi-matte finish. So it's super unique. You get the best of both worlds. A lot of times matte lipsticks can be very drying, accentuate your lip lines, make them look shriveled up and pruney. This one does not. It actually makes your lips look very pillowy and soft and smooth. So 
if you don't like a super glossy finish like a lot of lip balms but you still want hydration you might really like the pixie again these are very pigmented so just be careful but i find that you can also just sort of dab them on in the center of your lips for that sort of k-beauty popsicle lip look and it's really pretty worn that way as well and because of its more natural matte finish it does wear a really long time on the lips so i really love these i think these are a great little find from the drugstore okay i have two more little twist up lip balms these ones are the most glossy out of all of the little twist up balms the first is the hard candy insta pout lip melt what a name i love it it's so cute Again, it's that twist up style applicator. However, this one is a, that clicky twist up and you can't twist it back down. So just be careful how much you twist up because you can't twist it back down after you twist it up. This one is one of my favorite formulas because it gives you pigment, not too much pigment, but not too little pigment. And it just melts on the lips as the name would suggest. It just feels so good to apply. It's so creamy and nourishing and it is ultra, ultra glossy. This one has a lot of gloss so if you want something that's more like a lip gloss in terms of shine but that isn't as thick or liquidy as a lip gloss definitely this is a great one to check out i personally have the shade my type which is just a really pretty soft peachy pink they have a lot of different shades it's super affordable and i feel like the formula of this feels very very luxe very high end it's super trendy it's like that makeup by mario lip product the mac squirt sticks it's just that easy to apply sheer but still gives a little bit of vibrancy product so good very underrated hard candy as a whole is underrated but that product definitely a hidden gem another one that's very similar in that it's that more balmy texture but that gives a lot of shine and just enough pigment not too much but not too little this one's a teensy teensy bit more pigmented than the hard candy a little bit more opaque the hard candy's a bit more see-through as you can see this is the signature lipstick from moira they market it as a lipstick again but this one has a lot of nourishing ingredients. I think it has mango seed, butter, or oil. It has some hydration to it, and it definitely is very hydrating on the lips. I love this product. It is so shiny, so creamy, so moisturizing, not sticky, not goopy, but definitely thinner than a traditional like cream lipstick would be. It's so easy to apply, so easy to wear, and this one has a ton of different shades. So definitely check out these signature lipsticks from Moira. The packaging is so cute. And if you like a lot of different options when it comes to a tinted lip balm, that's gonna be a little bit more pigmented, then definitely check these out from Moira. Last but not least, I did want to share a slight fail in my opinion. They are the Makeup Revolution Pout Balms. Let me just say, these are the most pigmented out of any of the products that I'm going to mention. Even more pigmented than the Pixie, or maybe just as pigmented. But the reason why the Pixie works is because even though it's very, very pigmented, it is a little bit drier of a formula and it does have that more matte finish. The reason why the Makeup Revolution doesn't work with that same amount of pigment is because it is so, so melty. When you apply it to the lips, it literally comes off in the thickest, most goopy layer. And it's so pigmented that it just it's not flattering in my opinion if you're super super careful and you only apply the teensiest tiniest little amount it could look really pretty but i just think the amount of pigment mixed with the emollients and super creaminess and meltiness of the product just makes it very very hard to control and wear it's not one of those products i would recommend just applying blindly because it can get everywhere it can be very messy and very goopy really quick it does come in a lot of really pretty shades but again they are very pigmented so if you're going to get one of the more vibrant shades is going to get out of the lip lines because of its super creamy emollient formula it just is a mess it gets everywhere so take that for what you will personally i would not recommend them but if it sounds like something you would like then maybe it would be worth checking out Another slight fail that I wanted to mention just quickly is the Honest Beauty Tinted Lip Balms. I like the texture of these. It's more of that traditional thin chapsticky formula, not too shiny, but not dry. And it gives you just a sheer wash of color. The reason why I don't recommend these is because I found them personally to be very drying on the lips, actually. I don't know what ingredient is in there that made my lips so dry. I just found like the more that I wore it, if I wore it for a couple days in a row, my lips were actually getting drier and drier and drier. So that could just be 
a me thing. Just something to keep in mind. I did want to mention it. Just share my personal experience so you can make your own informed decisions. But yeah, guys, those are all of the affordable drugstore tinted lip balms that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it is, again, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot to me. I love each and every one of you. And when you give me comments and when you appreciate my videos, it really just means the world to me. I make these videos for you guys. And the fact that some of you guys really enjoy them and really find them helpful, it just makes my heart flutter. So yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next video.